Hi everyone, how are you? It's Leah Koss with the Mortgage Center and I wanted to go over the difference between your amortization of your mortgage and your term. Now in really, really layman's terms, amortization is the really big number and the term is the really small number. In less layman terms, the amortization is basically if you take your mortgage or your loan amount and you were to divide it over a whole bunch of months, then you're basically saying, well, 25 years or 300 months or 35 years and 420 months, we're gonna stretch out that mortgage across that term and cut it up into a bunch of pieces. And whatever those pieces are is what essentially your monthly payments are. That, of course, including your interest and all of that kind of stuff. So that's what amortization is. Obviously, if you were to take $100,000 of a mortgage and stuff it into 10 years, it's gonna be a lot bigger of monthly payments than if you stretch it out to 25 years. And likewise, if you really stretch it out to 35 years, you're getting much, much smaller payments. So for those of you who are looking for cash flow uh, because it's a rental property, or if you're just wanting to really minimize the amount that's going out onto your house, perhaps you're banking on equity, perhaps you're just not really caring about putting money into your home, you prefer to save your money to put into other investments or spending habits, then 35 years is definitely the way to go because for one, it's the maximum that you can go and for two, it is going to minimize your payments extremely. So that's what amortization is. How big or how long of a length of term are you going to have that we can stretch your mortgage out into and that's going to minimize your payments. Now, the term is really the term that you're locking into with that one particular lender. So although you get a 25 or 35 year amortization, that doesn't mean that you're stuck with that one lender for 25, 35 years. It also doesn't mean that your mortgage is locked in for that long with that lender and that you have to pay a penalty if you get out sooner than that. That's what the term is. The term is the contract between you and the lender for how long of a mortgage you're going to have held with them specifically. So five years tends to be the common one, the go-to one. And so if you have a five-year fixed mortgage, what that means is you have a five-year fixed mortgage with a 35-year amortization. So that's what's dictated how big my payments are is the amortization. But the term is basically the contract between me and the lender saying, this is how long I will loan this money from you for. At the end of five years, I can either renew with you or change to a different lender if you're going to screw me on the rate. <laughs> so those are, those are the two terms. Term, amortization, completely separate things. Only one of them is actually contracted with the lender and the other one is basically dictating the length of your loan and, and the size of your payments. So a lot of people do like to play with their amortization in that sense. But if you have questions about how long of an amortization you should have, the costs that are associated with getting a longer amortization, or about your term, how long do you want to lock in with a lender based on rates, based on terms, based on penalties, and things of that nature. So as always, Leah Cost with the Mortgage Center, I'm always happy to help you and answer any questions that you have, and hopefully I will be talking to you soon. Thanks so much.